So listen, this is um, the preview that they've made here. Listen. So lovely to hear that, and I can hear the idea of those bells and how that will really shape the, the sense of, of this beginning We've journey. Down, what guys. do you think we will all learn from this trip over the next week of Little Amal in Kent? I think the thing that surprised me already and will continue to <clears> surprise <throat> me is the level of empathy and the level of care and commitment and... Here is something that we can do. Here is a way of visualising this because it is so hard to get a sense of scale and a sense of reality sometimes with these sorts of journeys. This is a nine-year-old child um, and just to really bring that home, what that must be like and how we can connect together and, and really line that journey with care with connection, with a realisation that there is so much more that we have in common with each other than we ever realised. And that's not just within this country, but right throughout the, the journey, we have more in common with all the people that this child has met than we could ever realise without such a powerful and incredible project. We are also on the front line of what is described by many as the refugee crisis. <clears throat> Does that bring it into sharp focus when where you are at the Harbour Arm, the border force vessel will often be seen tied mm. up against the side next to the lighthouse. It does bring it into focus. And, and as I said before, what really comes into focus for me is how much support this has received, how many people in all sexes of our community, from the, the fishermen, from the churches in the area, from the schools, from people in leadership, from so many sectors of our society have come together to make this project happen, to Always think about what can now. we do? How can we do the right thing? And it's also just been amazing to see that deepening of empathy and to have a visual, a, a real focus to bring this into the visible light spectrum and to see that Amal is nine foot tall. She's big, she is here, you know, she represents hope, she represents lots of things, she represents so many challenges, oh. but it's here and we need to see it and we need to uh, come together, embrace it and find that empathy within ourselves to um, do the right thing, um, find ways for, for that passage that she is making to be safe. What's been really amazing to me as well is the instinct. It's in our instinct to reach out and help them when we see it, but when the problem is invisible and we don't see it, we become more and more separate from it. We become more and more detached. They don't, the, 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 they become dehumanized to us and we disconnect from our empathy. And this is about a way of reconnecting with ourselves and each other and really thinking about what actually matters. Who are we and what do we want? As a community, what do we want? How do we want to be represented? How do we want to help? Anil Sebastian, the musical director of the What's On My Shore well, event Anil. as part of Amal's visit to Folkestone tomorrow afternoon. Our reporter Joe Byrne will be live from the Harbour Arm at this time tomorrow <coughs> evening and you can find out more about what's well, happening throughout we'll the week in Kent, with some, um, Folkestone, Dover and Canterbury some of my camera at walkwithamal.org. Coming up next on the show, the Kent...